In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an expendable bottle inside of Flutterflow. And this is a very powerful feature that you can use inside of your app to take it to the next level. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So here guys, I have a very simple uh, page here. I can just start by building my page or the things that I'm going to need, right? So uh, I'm going to use a stack, so I'm going to use two icons for that so you can check out or try the transform uh, widget if you like but for me i wouldn't i want to go with this one and uh, so you can try the other one as well so i will just duplicate this and the first one will be show the second one will be height so for showing we want to add you know this icon right here so which means that you want to show something right and for the height you know you can add the cross uh, or the delete stuff right you see now if we so if we delete the one or we if we hide it now you will see the other one but what is important for us is that we have renamed them now we know uh, what their names are so we can differentiate bet we can have uh, a, d a difference between the one and the other one right uh, this is the stack so now we can add another container so so we can put this one up and we want to go to the column and select this option so here guys what i'm doing is this so whenever we click on this one something will show up right so this is what we are doing but you can uh, select this option to uh, put them down and select this option to get the column to that side of the screen so now whenever you click here this will show up and inside that uh, specific container we can add the uh, like uh, so we can add first a column then inside of that we can add like uh, three buttons so we can duplicate that and guys you can do whatever you like so for the container it is the size is not enough you see one is not uh, is going out to the container so go to the container for the height delete whatever you have there so it can take whatever shape or uh, the shape of whatever you put inside of it so now guys this is the building stuff so this was very basic very simple just to show you how to do that now the next step we are going to actually see how we how we can do that now in this step i just want to come here and now we can add the app state that i have just told you about right so we can uh, remove this one and a new stage which is going to be show it's going to be a boolean either show if it is true or if it is false it's going to be it will mean hide so we can uh, create that and now we can actually come here now we can click on the show so the show button or the show icon is the one with add right this is so when 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 you want to see that so uh when the show is false right so or so we can uh, recall or rename it shown so when that container is shown so when it is shown then you want to see the the icon hide so you can hide it and when the container is hidden then you want to see show so you can show it so for the hide so it it has to go with uh the shown app state so if if the container is shown then this has to show up the hide so we can hide it because it was shown and the show uh, and show something so it we need to show something that, that is hidden right so it, this has to go against the app stage right so you can come here and click apply the opposite statement right so the show will go to the opposite of shown so for example if it is already shown so if the shown was true then the show will not show up because it, it is against it so you know I hope that you have got the idea but when i'm going to test this you will see how we do that right so now this container also has to go with the shown app state so true true and false false right it has to go with it and we can for example uh hide this if you want so whenever so now we need the action so now there is no so the app stage which is controlling uh, everything right now hasn't been influenced by by anything but we have seen here that the icon will influence the app stage which will then influence the container so we can have a direct action by using a middleman this is what i have just uh explained to you in the, at the beginning of this video so now let's come back here and now uh what we want to do here is that so i will let you guys uh, actually uh try this right so when i'm going to click on the show icon which is this one 
so what we are going to do with to the f stage do we have to make it true or false so i believe we, are, we need to make it true because show something we means that you will make it shown right so the shown will be true right so uh, what we have to do here is to uh, we want to add an action which will be update the app stage and the app stage is very simple it is this one and now we can set the value to uh, true right because show will make shown true right and here for the hide so the same action but it will make it uh, false right so hide something which we are going to not show it which shown will become false i know guys that is somehow complicated but it's very simple and you can change it if you understand the logic of what i have been doing here you will understand everything i promise right and here so you can come so if you want to be creative you can come to the container and add an, uh, an animation on page load or on action trigger you can add animations we are going to discuss the topic of animation in details in future videos so if you are interested in learning more about animations because they are very cool they can take your app to the next level and give your users a better experience so don't forget to just subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon so if i posted anything related to the animations i will be able to notify you because you have turned on the bell icon so don't forget to do that right so now let's actually run a test mode and see what we got now here we are guys inside of the test mode now let's see what you are going to have so now uh, what do you think the shown value is so is it true or false so nothing is shown this means that, that the shown app stage is false i will click there so i have clicked there and now i have now i can see this container and if i click back here i will hide them now you see now there is a direct connection between icon and the container so this is what the user will see he or she will understand that this is controlling this one but for us as developers we have used the app stage which will which is influenced by the icon and it is influencing this one now we can we have a direct uh, connection between the icon button and this container so guys i want you now to go right now so stop this video and go try this get a little bit creative and uh, whatever you have made try to make a screenshot and uh, send it to me via my email you will find it in my end about page of this channel go there and you'll find my email send it to me if you like or via my one of my social media i want to see what you have made guys and if you have any problem or a uh, thing that you have actually facing problem with i'm going to be so happy to help you so if you have any question request or anything come right now to the comment section go and write what you want i will be more than happy to help you or make a video just for you to help you so there is no problem go now go to the comment section and engage with the community and before you leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful of course and if you didn't like it give it a, a thumbs down so it's always up to you so thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video